Scooby-Doo Where Are You was a major success for Hanna-Barbera. So much so that they decided to experiment with the formula in an hour-long format in its first spin-off, the new Scooby-Doo movies. This show was pretty much similar to its predecessor, the gang driving around in the missing machine solving the mystery of the week. This time they are accompanied by celebrity guests. Don Knotts, Don Adams, Sandy Duncan, and the Harlem Globetrotters all appeared in the show. And there were also appearances by celebrities who were dead or retired, but had their voice done by imitators, like Laurel and Hardy in the Three Stooges. There were even some appearances from lesser known Panda Barbera characters, like Josie and the Pussycats and Speed Buggy. Honestly, I remember watching these episodes and being bored as a kid. The mysteries weren't really that interesting, the monsters weren't really memorable, and the celebrities weren't really given much to do. For example, the episodes featuring the Three Stooges doesn't really have any funny slapstick for now. I guess you could argue there are really heavy restrictions on violence in children's TV back then, but I think they could have made it work. Another reason this series doesn't hold up well as the others do is that it's a little dated. Most of the celebrities used in the show were celebrities that were popular at the time. But then again, I wouldn't really I wouldn't know who Don Knotts, Jonathan Winters, or Phyllis Diller were if it wasn't for this show. Not all the episodes were duds though. There were some memorable episodes, like the dynamic Scooby affair, with Scooby in the game meet Batman and Robin and stop a counterfeit money scheme by Joker and Penguin. Another one is Wednesday is Missing where the gang house sits for the Adams family. It was really cool seeing the spirit of the 1960s show captured into animation, which really leads to a lot of memorable moments. So overall, while in no means a bad show, the new Scooby-Doo movies is pretty bland and forgettable. If you want a better Scooby cartoon from the 70s, i say check out the original or the Scooby-Doo show. But don't take my word for it. Check it out and see for yourself. Scooby-Doo, look in for you. Scooby-Scooby-Doo, where are you? All the signs are here, waiting for you.